A record-breaking cold wave is gripping the U.S. Heavy snow, freezing rain, and brutal wind chills are paralyzing cities across the country, even in the Deep South. And to many onlookers, this type of cold weather is proof that global warming couldn't possibly exist. How about global freezing? It even has some people begging for climate change. It's freaking freezing. You know what I can use right now? A hot chocolate. Global warming. Here's the thing. Freezing temperatures and global warming may sound like a contradiction, but they're really not. So why is that? And could climate change actually be making cold spells like these worse? Before we delve into all of this, there's one thing we need to clarify. There's a difference between weather and climate. When we talk about weather, we mean day-to-day -day changes in temperature, rainfall, humidity, wind, and so on. Climate is the word we use to describe average weather patterns in a specific region over a longer period of time. And it's these long-term weather patterns that we started messing with once we began burning fossil fuels to industrialize our economies. Because burning coal, oil, and gas releases greenhouse gases that trap heat in the atmosphere. That raises temperatures across the globe. So on average, it's getting warmer everywhere. But our emissions also make all kinds of extreme weather more common and more intense. Like the torrential rainfall that led to floods in Libya last year, or the drought in the Horn of Africa. This is starting to happen so often that it's shifting average weather patterns across the globe long term meaning the climate is changing. But our planet heating emissions don't affect all weather events. Even if some types of weather become less likely with global warming, it doesn't mean they're impossible. Let's take the cold weather some regions are experiencing in the global north now. Global warming on one side and cold winter weather on the other side, it's not uh, in contradiction per se. Um, and this is because, of course, with uh, global warming, we are seeing already more frequent heated streams in summer, um, and we are expecting less cold uh, spells in winter, but that doesn't mean that we are not going to see uh, cold spells anymore. As I said before, no single weather event proves or disproves climate change. It's about the overall patterns. Cold spells in North America and Europe can be related to disruptions in the string of strong winds called the polar vortex. And some scientists believe it could be global warming causing the disruptions. The polar vortex is this layer of swirling cold air very, very high up above the North Pole. Below it is a ring of strong winds circling the polar region. That's the jet stream, and it helps contain the polar vortex. It also plays a huge role in our day-to-day -day winter weather. The polar vortex and the jet stream can influence each other. So if one is disrupted, the other one is potentially also being disrupted. When the polar vortex is strong, that means winter weather tends to be milder because it contains all that cold air to the polar region. Think of it like a skater spinning super quickly, holding on tight to the cold air. But when it's weak, that can wreak havoc. A figure skater, when it's really nice, tight rotation, you know, the arms are close to the chest, and then if it hits a piece, you know, a crack in the ice or something, then they, they start you know, flying and wobbling, you know, their arms start flailing. So <laughs> same thing with the cold air. The cold air just moves away from the center of the polar vortex. The Arctic is warming faster than other regions. One theory is that this is leading to warming also high up in the stratosphere, the layer of the atmosphere where the polar vortex is, and this can disrupt it. When the polar vortex is distorted, that can distort the jet stream as well, making it dip in some areas. And that allows cold air to travel south. Global warming could also be destabilizing the jet stream. It runs between the warmer air of the mid-latitudes and the cold Arctic air. The temperature difference between the two keeps the jet stream stable. But as the Arctic warms, the difference isn't as big anymore. The jet stream becomes slower. And according to some studies, it starts swinging south, pulling that cold air from the Arctic with it. This is why some scientists believe it's not implausible that global warming could be linked to blistering cold spells hitting after some balmy winter months. A weather whiplash, right? Where the weather kind of windshield wiper it kind of goes from one extreme to the other. For many scientists, though, there isn't enough evidence yet that it is global warming disrupting the polar vortex and the jet stream. They say it could also just be a normal climate variation. But what they do agree on is that extreme winter weather does not prove that climate change is a hoax. Even if there are different theories about the reason behind these blasts of cold, it is clear that we are heating our atmosphere at an alarming rate. The numbers are astounding. 2023 was the hottest year on record by a huge margin. And this year is likely to be record-breaking too. Our greenhouse gas emissions are growing every year, and every single continent experienced devastating weather events. For many of them, studies were able to prove that they were made several times more likely because of climate change. So when you see extreme winters like these, it could just be weather being weather, it could be related to Arctic warming, but it is definitely not an example of climate change being fake.